YouTube, welcome back to another video from WTFRC Cars. So today we're going to crack on with the XB8E. Um, hopefully we're going to get at least the front shock tower and the steering assembly made up and fitted. And then we'll have to see if we've got any more time to carry on with that. Because I'm trying to keep the time down on these videos because they're a bit boring to watch if you drag them out too long. So let's crack on. Right, so first thing we're going to do with this one, we have a little rubber o ring to get inside here, and that stops it from moving about all over the place. Once you set the tension, they're always a little bit fiddly to get in, but they do go in eventually. Then we have so the bottom of the servo saver. And then onto this one, let's have a look what arms we've got. So we've got that one that goes that way. We've got that that goes on that way. Then let's have a look. That bigger at one end or other, it looks like it is. So that looks like it fits in. And then what we've got to try and do, and this is never easy on... Uh, on these ones but we've got to screw this down and I believe the stock setting is three to four millimeters of thread showing at the top and also unlike a lot of the RTR cars there's quite a lot of tension on this by the time you get them down to the stock settings so let's have a look So that wasn't a bad guess. Bang on three mil. So I'll just take it a little bit further because it says three to four mil. Yeah, they can still open up if they need to. So that is first bit done. So I want to get this thread lock on. Get it into position. Screw it down till you get close. And then you can just spin it and it will lock into the chassis. So that's got one on. Right, so we've got these assembled. We're going to want to drop one of the threaded bushings into each side. We're going to want our Ackerman bar, and then you're going to want a bit of thread lock. So I've got the thread lock already on the screws. Then you can start getting these into place. And then when it comes to tighten up, you can just use the uh, hex head in the top one. And again, we've got a little thread lock on this ready. Right, so that's the post mounted. We can then get the bearings in place. And these usually fall out when you try and put them on. So this should go into place. So 
So that's where it needs to be, and it's really free. Now we've got to mount that with the body mount. So you want the longer of the domed headed screws in the bottom. And then it should just screw down into place. And it's a 2mm hex drive on this one. And then before you tighten it up, decide which way you want your uh, body clip to go. If you're going to be using body clips. Right, to the best I can tell, that's the way it's designed to fit. So you've got a little pronounced edge on the back that lines up with these two notches. And if you fit it that way, it looks like it lines up perfect. So let's have a look which screws we've got to mount this up. So it looks like we're going for three by eight, which are the shortest in these. But it doesn't say to thread lock these even though they're going into metal. And they do do a optional carbon top plate for this part. So once we've got that mounted, it should sit down on that pretty good. And if I remember rightly, this is the bit on the XB4 2020 model where if you didn't get this right it bound all your steering caught. It definitely doesn't look like there's any issue with that on the XTA or XBAE. So now we have the tiny little chassis brace and it says only use the one to the left. So it looks like it's got a slight cut out for the drive shaft to run down the side of that. So let's have a look what we're looking at for this one. We're going to need a small locking nut in the top. These always seem to be a pain to get in and then once you get them in they fall out. So. That's going to fit in the left hand side one. And then it says we need a 3 by 12 So it should be the last 4mm one in the bottom. Now we're going to have to make some links up. So we're going to have to make two sets of these. So we've got to tighten these down and these all need to be so they both want going down to 27.5 mil. So we'll get these made up. Right, so that's two of them at 27.5 and let's see what we've got. So inner ones, we're going to need to fit these olives.
Right, so we're going to mount these X-ray badge facing forward, lower innermost one degree. Then you're going to want to make sure your drive shafts are in because it'd be a really bad time to uh, forget them. So once you've got drive shaft in place, now the stock setup for this is two one mil spacers to the rear. I'm not really sure why they do it this way. But this is how they decide to do it. So two one mil spacers to the rear, a two mil spacer to the front. And then you can sit that into position. And that arm definitely wants going that way. So then we want to mirror what we've done. So two more one mil spacers. And then make sure the drive shaft's in. And then the arm to the rear. 2 mil spacer on the front and then you should be able to line your front shock tower up you should be able to work that back into place so we've now got four screws and these are all going to need the 2.5 mil hex drive ones they're definitely going to be easier with a ball type hex drive so once we've got all them fastened down so adjustment block towards outside but it doesn't advise using thread lock on these, which is quite surprising. And the top is a two, so you can get all of them, get them nice and tight. And then on the steering hub side, they look really long, but that's what it says use. So, rinse and repeat with this side. So, we now have fully assembled front suspension and full steering. So, I think for tonight, I'm, uh, I'm going to call it, because <laughs> that's been enough work after a 12 hour night shift. Right, so, almost uh, looking like an RC now, we've got steering, uh, we've got both front and rear diffs, and all the wheels are driving, 
nice uh, aluminum front tower, nice carbon rear tower. It's usually how most race RCs run when they've got an open tower on front, they don't tend to go carbon because um, it gets hit by everything. But it's coming together nice. So if you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Share to friends and family or anybody else that you might uh, think find this interesting or useful. And I'll catch you guys again in the next one.